What's going on everyone? Yes, today is another retro toy review. And this here is Solid Snake from the epic video game series Metal Gear Solid. Now this version is from the PlayStation 1. And this is by far one of the most favorite versions of Snake for me. It was one of the first Metal Gears that I ever played and actually made me love Metal Gear the way I do now. And this character is very iconic and one of the most rarest um, Play Arts Kai figure. I think the cost was around, I'm going to say 50 to 60 bucks when he first dropped. Now this figure can easily sell for 200 sometimes more depending on how bad the person wanted. So with this retro review, I'm going to show you what this toy had to offer. And also, it's bad, it's good, and is it really worth you spending that type of money? So let's go ahead and jump into this review. So first and foremost, this has to be by far, I, I'm only speaking for myself, this has to be by far the best snake face head scope I've ever seen out of all of the Metal Gear toys I actually own. Uh, reason being, I'm going to bring him in close so we can actually get a nice focus and you can see exactly what I mean. One, he had pores. A lot of the other um, snake figures really don't have that texture. Uh, also, his face is not shiny like his ass just jumped out the a fucking oil bath so I really really like the fact that his skin looked like skin it didn't look oily it didn't look weird or look like just straight up shiny plastic I actually really enjoyed this snake head scope uh, also just seeing a crappy uh, 3d version of snake in a more realistic way when they actually brought this toy out was amazing uh, Play Arts Kai nailed it when this toy came out the sculpt on this figure was always one of my favorite. I really like the detail they did. I'm going to focus in for y'all. They did such a great job. Everything just was done so well when this toy was first released. And it was a must have for me because, like I said, this Metal Gear was one of my favorites. So I had to have them in my collection. Uh, I remember seeing when this toy first came out, I was collecting pretty big, but I wasn't really, really heavy as as I am now. Um, I kind of wish I had two, just because I would like to have him out, take more pictures with him. But due to the fact that he's so expensive, I don't really take him out much. Um, I actually, I packed this figure up pretty well to the point where it's almost like set, like he's brand new. I don't really like taking him out the box too much just because I don't want nothing to happen to him. He's a pretty sturdy figure. I'll tell you exactly what you got to kind of look out for if you decide to pick this figure up at the cost that it is now. Some people have no problem dropping a dollar. Uh, some people still hesitant. And there's a lot of things that can cause you to be a little bit more careful when picking this figure up. But this is a full once over. And like I said, this toy was done really nice. So that is your full 360 of how good old Snake is done. And let's go ahead into height comparison. So I have an older uh, Kai figure along with the new. And just to kind of give you an idea, Snake is the same height as the new cloud and he was the exact same height as his enemy cyber ninja all right and i'm gonna go ahead and say these figures were I'm not wrong last time i measured them it was like 10 inches tall been a long time since i actually took this toy out but if i'm not wrong about 10 inches tall on this figure so it was a nice hefty figure for his time frame all right now, Solid Snake Accessories. So, one thing I want to zoom in on so that way y'all won't be thinking it came with this. The dog tag. This figure did not come with a dog tag. I actually snatched it off of Raiden 
and gave it to him because I had two ridings. And I just figured, hey, I believe Snake needs a dog tag. So that dog tag does not come with this figure, but I do uh, display this figure with dog tags on. But the actual accessories that good old Solid Snake get, he's going to get two balled up fisticuff hands that you see already on him. He's going to get... Go ahead and focus real quick. He's going to get some relaxed hands. And if you notice, if you have the riding figure, it's exactly the same hand scope that was with the riding figure. So you get those hands pretty much over again, but just designed in solid snake uh, fashion. So you're going to get that hand. You're going to get the weapon holding hand which is also the same hand that was with the riding figure or I believe it was also with um, Liquid Snake as well but these are really nicely detailed you're going to get the SOCOM pistol which is also really nicely detailed as for uh, the paint job it's just a simple like a gunmetal black or like gray it's kind of a mixture but pretty cool you're gonna get a silencer that is removable Let's see if I can put this on behind the lens of the camera there we go and it fits perfectly on most time when you get the figure this silencer is already on uh, I think it's already on the pistol yeah because his pistol is actually already in his holster when you take him out the box with the silencer on it and the silencer is pretty bent up pretty badly so you kind of got to put some hot uh, air to it or hot water just to get it back in its proper form you're going to get the FAMAS which is also really nicely done the strap on this actual weapon it's like a soft rubber so it can uh, stretch a little bit these are real metal that's linked on holding the actual strap on so that's nice and that is the only accessories that good old solid snake come with so he didn't come with much but he definitely came with his iconic weapons what was real nice if you have this figure and you bought liquid you were able to take photographs I did I had to just because it was a snowy day so it was perfect um, I put the rocket launcher on Solid Snake so it reminded me when he fought Liquid on top of the roof uh, fighting the high helicopter so if you got Solid Snake it was definitely good to have Liquid because you can definitely set up some really nice things with him but that is your accessories now as for articulation this is where it comes into how did this figure hold up over time um, it actually held up really damn good actually uh, I had actually I'm wrong I did have two solid snakes um, I think I saw one of them around the time it was released or I think it had an issue no I didn't sell it it actually had an issue where some of the solid snakes that you will get um, Play Arts Kai is known for fucking up they still fucking up to this day uh, so it's not a shocker to most people that collect these figures I actually had uh, his knees were extremely weak where they was like wobbly and there was no way of repairing that situation at least to me I didn't have no uh, custom skills so I don't know uh, but that was a big problem and he came with I believe two left feet maybe I think I could be wrong I know somebody had that problem so it could have either been me or another collector but someone got two of the same fucking foot so that was pretty crappy and this was the predecessor out of both of the figures he was definitely the uh, the better version uh, he didn't have no errors going on so I made sure I stuck him and put him away and I had the other one but the other one was so screwed up and this toy was so rare at the time it wasn't no way of actually getting another uh, solid snake so I just got my money back from the company but holding up as for articulation he can go about that far down, which is really nice. Really nice. And he can go about that far up, 
which is also really nice. Now, that's due to the actual ball joint that's in the neck and the body. Uh, his head ball joint can really do nothing uh, just because he has a wide neck. And due to the collar, it actually kind of prevents that. Okay. Now, going down to his shoulders, this was kind of like the first door hinge style arms, at least to me, it seemed like. Or oh, maybe, you know what? I might be wrong excuse me i think it was just ball joints in here but the way his outfit was designed it made him look like he had door hinge arms i remember um one of these pads coming off it didn't break it just came off because these are actually held in almost like a ball joint snap in um and that's why they kind of move on its own um separate from the arm itself but that came loose and I took care of it. But that actually is why it kind of almost seemed like he had door hinges. Actually, you can kind of see now that you can pull the arms out quite a bit. Uh, and you know what? No, I am right. So it did have a door hinge along with a ball joint. But it just was done so nice that it doesn't look messy. Uh, if you happen to get this figure that might be tight on uh, a brand new joint so be careful definitely be careful if you decide to move it around because I know mine was stiff until I actually put a blow dryer to it and it allowed me to actually move that part of the joint so you're going to get about this much as the arms going up I wouldn't force it um, you go about that far forward now I know you can probably bring the arms out more, but I'm telling you, just be careful. You do not want to break this figure, especially after paying 300 and by the toy being so rare. And I'm gonna be honest with you, the thing about a player as cat figure paying that type of amount for any of the figures now versus back then, $60. Okay, you'll be pretty pissed if it broke on you, uh, but you can also contact them and they can possibly get you another. But because this is a back catalog figure. You kind of don't want to screw up because one, you won't be getting another one because I don't think they have them on deck pretty much. Uh, but beyond all that, uh, just in general, a lot of these toys that broke, it was no fixing like you could, but they wasn't going to be right after that. So I would honestly say don't push these arms to the limit just because you see that is a joint there. Like, for example, he has a uh i don't know if i can get in there but he has like a hinge and mine could just be possibly stiff and i just never moved it i don't know i'm not about to attempt it but if it does move it should go up quite a bit but like i said mine goes about this far without me actually doing anything to it to allow that arm to go further so i'm gonna leave it as is uh going down to the bicep this actually swivel which was a really nicely done uh joint because it was well hidden it looks good so that was really nice his arm itself bent about that much up okay and he had the separate arm pads now this is where um the new metal gear figures are actually a lot better due to versus the old the thing is, these look really nice. Hands down, they looked amazing. Okay, well, at least to me. I can't speak for everybody, but it looked amazing to me that the fact that they can move and they kind of like work with the joint. The downside is, I actually had this happen to a Peace Walker figure. The arm itself broke right here, which you can replace a ball joint because you can buy like a shitty one and then just change the joint out. But the problem is, when that breaks, 9 out of 10, the peg hole, or I ain't say peg hole, but the ring that is wedged between the joint breaks too. And since these are custom to that particular character, you have to find that character again to fix it. Or like I said, if you have custom skills, then maybe you can hide it and nobody can tell. But that was one of the main things. If you want to have everything in its original state without being damaged or broken, once that part breaks, you got to have another version of that toy to replace it. So that was a huge downside on the old versions versus the new, because the now the new is actually one whole piece 
and you don't have to worry about if something breaks you can just replace the joint out you just got to find the proper size joint but that was one of the downers now going down to his wrist his wrist got about that much going down and about that much going up now also want to be super careful with the wrist joints um I can't remember if it was me maybe it was me because I've, I've had my fair share uh, of shitty moments the wrist joint I think broke the reason why you have to be careful is because these uh, particular pegs wasn't the best and what I meant by that is that they were so tough of putting the hand on you had to fight with it and fighting with it will cause you to end up damaging it so changing hands wasn't really a big thing for me just for the simple fact that I knew that something could get torn up if you decide to remove a hand you want to definitely get your nails or something in between let me bring it up get it in between here and then pull the hand off so the joint doesn't go anywhere nor does uh, the shift of weight doesn't snap the joint while you're trying to pull the hand off so be careful if you happen to decide to change our hands now going down to his admin he didn't get practically nothing um he can turn 360 which was really nice but further as like going up or going down the side to side that was a no-go wasn't going to happen uh going down to the waist he got about that far forward which it's not bad uh he went about that far back which is a little bit tilt was really nice got a really nice tilt in there now going down to his pelvis this is also where the new figures are much improved over the old. Um, the new now has uh, ratchet joints inside the pelvis, which is a lot better because now they hold poses. Where this is just a straight ball joint, and you got good range having a ball joint, which, let me zoom out real quick. He got about that far kicking to the side, that far going up due to the fact that the pouch is in the way and about all the way back okay which is nice further as range uh, that far forward same thing going back out to the side the thing is about ball joints is that they get loose so he have the tendency to be wobbly if you messed around with it too much so that's another thing that the new figures have over the old that you want to be careful with now coming down to his mid thigh also another well hidden joint this actually rotates really nicely done I'm actually shocked that some of the newer uh, Kai figures don't even have that for example the Barrett that I purchased and the cloud figure don't have mid swivel which is kinda odd uh, you would think they would have it just because it was a smart joint it's not a bad joint um, and it actually helps with articulation so this was always really nice and a plus going down to his knees they're still holding up well still nicely done um this is when the joints are was way larger you can tell like this big ass chunk of plastic uh the only reason why this one doesn't bother me as much as some of the other figures because it's well dressed it doesn't look bad due to the fact of that, that kneecap uh plate really nice it actually hit hit the ugly joint really well now going down to the foot this also was limited he went about that much down that much up and he had a swivel in the mid part of the foot the downside of these Metal Gear figures and I've noticed it across the board from the new to the old that this one actually had some decent balance so he was able to stand up on his own but trying to get him into like some dynamic poses can be pretty crappy because his feet was so small. Uh, it just couldn't really support the weight of this figure. So sometimes you have your moments where you can do basic standing poses, but trying to actually have him in something that was a lot better or something that you really wanted, you wasn't going to get. So that is the, the perks and the non perks to this actual figure. Uh, overall, I'm extremely happy. I'm, I'm, I'm still going to consider this as my best, one of the best, just because I'm not going to lie, I play favoritism on this particular figure just due to the amount of memories that it holds. 
Um, but I won't lie, like paying three hundred dollars for them. Personally, it just will have to be up on you to choose to do that. What well, I pay three hundred for them, I'm not gonna lie, I possibly would just because how much I like Solid Snake. But from a logical standpoint, no, I wouldn't. I will probably try to wait to him to get down to about 200, maybe 150 at the most. Uh, just because um, the thing is, buying high-end players' cat figures, you're definitely taking the gamble. Um, like I said, back catalog stuff, you can't really get replacements. They break you fucked. Um, and just do, no one wants to spend 300, no one wants to spend 200 shit. Hell, nobody wants to spend 150 on a figure and then you find out it's broken the box, which that can happen. We all know for anybody that actually purchased Play Arts Kai figures, you know that can possibly happen. So taking them risks and buying high-end figures, you have to think twice and make sure whoever you buy them from, um, if they're nice enough to actually check the figure for you, awesome. If they're not, I mean, it's a 50-50. It don't have nothing to do with the person. If you get the toy and it's broke, shit, it might came like that. Or someone could have screwed you. You don't know. That's the that's the scary part about a player's cop figure. You do not know if it came that way or someone did that to the figure. So just keeping this in mind, uh, high end figures, just be careful on purchasing them. Uh, but other than that, not gonna hold y'all any longer. Thank you for looking at this retro review. Hope you like the HD quality. It's definitely a lot better than when I did the review the first time. Uh, granted, I probably had way more views with this review uh, back in the day on the damn dinner table or some shit when I did it. Uh, but now you just see it in a better quality. So hope this review helped and y'all continue to collect and have a great one. Take care.